All right, let's talk about this COVID story because this is pretty shocking. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul officially sending a criminal referral for Dr. Anthony Fauci to the Justice Department claiming a newly released email sent by Fauci in February of 2020 contradicts his 2021 testimony during a COVID-19 hearing. Fauci wrote in part, quote, scientists in Wuhan University are known to have been working on gain of function experiments associated with bat viruses adapting to human infection and the outbreak originated in Wuhan. This comes as Dr. Fauci's former boss suggests the former White House advisor might have silenced the science on the Wuhan lab to protect his own reputation. Sky News host Sherry Markson broke the story in The Australian, and she joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ainsley. Great to be with well, you. Well, great to have you on. I read the whole article. What a get. You interviewed uh, Anthony Fauci's boss. His name is Robert Cadlick. He's the former Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response at the U.S. Department of Health, and he created Operation Warp Speed. What exactly did yes. he tell you that you found to be so shocking? Look, there were two things that really were quite shocking. The first is that he directly said that Anthony Fauci uh, decided to protect his own reputation and the reputation of his institute, which was funding this risky coronavirus gain of function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And that's why Anthony Anthony Fauci was motivated to downplay any suggestions of a lab leak. And they had these conversations deliberately deciding to downplay the rhetoric about the origins of the virus while they were trying to find out where it came from and encourage cooperation with Beijing. So this was, you know, in Robert Cadlick's own admission, this is a deliberate decision to deflect attention away from the Wuhan lab. And he says he thinks Anthony Fauci was trying to protect his own interests. The second part to this, Ainsley, that was so fascinating is that Robert Cadlick said that their investigations indicate that it was vaccine research by the Chinese military in conjunction with the Wuhan Institute of Virology that they think led to the creation and outbreak of COVID-19. You also write, uh, I've always wondered why he was telling us, telling Americans, how we need to respond to this, to this virus. Meanwhile, he worked for the National Institutes of Health and other U.S. agencies that were giving money to this lab for gain-of-function research. You write in your article that he funded 65 projects, or the National Institute of Health and other U.S. agencies, funded 65 yes. projects at the Wuhan Institute of Virology over the past decade. You also say that some of these doctors, Dr. Fauci, um, the man that you interviewed, Robert Cadlick, and Francis Collins, privately talked about how to, how to turn down the temperature on this to deliver deliberately decide to downplay suspicions from scientists that COVID came from a lab. Tell me more about that. So this is before the group of international scientists held that phone call on the 1st of February, where they, in effect, decided to say that COVID-19 didn't have a laboratory origin, even though many of them privately suspected that it did. And we know that because of emails that have been subpoenaed by US Congress. But ahead of that call, Robert Cadlick said in his discussions with Francis Collins and with Anthony Fauci, that they wanted to turn down the rhetoric on suggestions that the virus came from a lab or was a bioweapon or was engineered. Uh, and, you know, he, he says it's partly to protect Anthony's reputation. From his perspective, from Robert Cadlick's, he was trying to get China to share a sample of the virus. So he didn't want these public accusations flying. Mm -hmm. And Ainsley, mm -hmm. you know, while on one level you can understand that, on another, this is incredibly misleading mm -hmm. and it's been a great mm -hmm. deception on the whole public, the whole world. Uh, and, and it's also misleading advice that then went to the intelligence community, that went to our policymakers and to the media. Yeah, they also talked about it being possibly genetically engineered, which is pretty scary if this was deliberate in a lab, um, which ended up resulting in so many deaths around the world. Why, I'm curious, why did he decide to talk to you? What is the purpose in this? Look, I've written a book, What Really Happened in Wuhan, so I've been very committed to investigating the topic of the origins of COVID-19 and specifically investigating the Wuhan Institute of Virology since April 2020, so more than three years now. I've interviewed a lot of, I mean, hundreds of people on this topic on and off the record, so I asked Robert Cadlick to speak with me. He did it first off the record. and.
because I was writing this investigative feature in the Weekend Australian magazine. Um, but it's just part of my more than three-year investigation into this topic. I'm deeply committed to finding out the origin of the pandemic because 7 million people have died. And I do not believe that politicians in the United States, in, the Austra in Australia or anywhere else have done enough to, to ask Beijing to open up the lab, to hold them to account and to find out what happened. We all want to know. Sherry, thank you so much. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. We do have Senator Rand Paul. He's going to join us later this morning. We're going to talk to him about this and find out what happens next. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.